Hello everyone, Samantha here with Crafty Sammy. I hope you're all doing great today. It is a sunny Sunday when I'm filming this. It's a little cooler out today. This morning it was like minus 10 degrees Celsius with the wind chill, but it's nice and sunny. I just wanted to pop on and make a quick video before this blanket goes to its new home and give a bit of a yarn review on the yarn that was used to make this blanket as well as this blanket. So both were made using the Bernay Baby Blanket Stripes and the blankets are super squishy and soft. This one was using the pattern off of Yarnspirations, the Baby blank, <laughs> baby Chevron Blanket. I wasn't as big of a fan um, with this yarn and this pattern. It is really difficult, I found, to get the right tension not to have the loops popping out funny. And for how the yarn stripes, it doesn't change color on the ends with this pattern and it's a little bit more noticeable I think for what I'm showing you guys right now it's all kind of changing but there are spots where it'll change color randomly in the middle of a stripe which isn't the biggest deal so right here you can see that it goes from white into the gray but we're not at the end of the row yet so it just really depends on what you want your final piece to work look like however it is a really soft blanket so if, if for a baby blanket the material is great because it's soft and squishy, exactly what you would like for a baby blanket. And this used three cakes of the Bernay baby blanket stripes. So I do recommend it for that. If you're newer, it can be a bit of a harder yarn, like I said, to keep your tension. So you're not ending up with funny loops like this. I'm gonna be giving this one away as a gift to a friend who has a baby boy. It is a really nice pattern with that chevron look. It is just, I also found it really hard on my wrists and my hands. So I made this one and then immediately made this one. And this is just using the, the moss, a moss stitch. And it's only using two balls of the Bernay baby blanket stripes. And the final size of this one is about 44 inches by 24 inches. So it's not as big as this one because it's using one less ball. But I was really happy with the striping. Once again, it doesn't work out exactly that they end on the rows, but because these stitches are smaller, it's a lot less noticeable, I kind of found. So here you can see that this one started, sorry, my na na nails are haggard and I need to do them. This row started in the white and then ended and then switched to the yellow, but it's not as noticeable. Um, same with here. You kind of have some of the white and then go to the gray, but I really liked the striping effect of it. And like I said, it's just so soft and squishy. So I would recommend giving this yarn a try if you're looking for that soft baby blanket. It works up super fast because it is thicker. Once again, it's just a little harder to work with. So like I said, I went from this right into this and I couldn't crochet for about a week because my elbow and arm was so sore just because it's harder to move it through your fingers. It's heavier, the blanket gets a lot heavier. So just be mindful of that when you are looking to make it. So this blanket used only two cakes where this one used three. I do, I will probably use it again. It is difficult for the striping. If you want that perfect striping, it still is better just to get different colors of yarn and work with it that way. But it is really nice not to have to weave in the ends. They do, they just spin it together. So it gets a little rough when it is a time for a color change because they just kind of spin those different colors together to form that one cake. Um, and it's hard, it is a little hard on sometimes to, to hide it all, but overall it, do, it does work out well, um, depending on, like I said, depending on the pattern you're doing. I'm going to be writing this one up, or I do have this one written up, and I am going to be opening up an Etsy shop. I'm just getting all the preparations finished. So this one won't, this pattern will be available. This blanket I'm going to give to my sister-in-law, nope, not Seth's sister-in-law, my stepsister for her upcoming baby. And it's a surprise. So this this cake color, I think it's like sunrise or something like that, makes a great gender neutral baby blanket with the different shades of yellow, um, the gray and the white. And then this one is really great for a baby boy. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, beginners, maybe stay away from this yarn until you have your tension down just to make sure you're not ending up with any funny loops. Like I said, the, the moss stitch was a lot easier to keep my tension consistent and correct than 
this stitch which was using I think it uses half double crochets throughout of all throughout it and that was a lot harder to keep it consistent without getting some of those funny loops if this video was helpful to you don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time bye